Brazil. A weekly show by Geisa Fernandes. Episode 1 What am I doing here anyway? You know, I got this really great idea last week. Starting a podcast. Why not, I thought. I'm a Brazilian independent singer and songwriter. And although I've been singing forever, during the last year... I've been really digging into the do-it-yourself market and lots of things happened. Maybe you are this huge fan of Brazilian music. Maybe you are an independent musician yourself and would like to know a little bit more about the Brazilian music market. Maybe you are just interested in the melodic tone of my voice and my weird accent. Whatever your reason is, I thank you very much for being here with me and what is my first podcast ever. So, let's get indie. But first, let me tell you how I got here in the first place. I've been singing forever. Actually, the first rule I learned in life is... If someone is singing in the house, then nothing can be wrong. A home, for me, is a place where someone is singing. As simple as that. I remember this book, one of my first ones. It came along with a vinyl. Yes, I'm as old as that. And the story was about this king who couldn't feel any kind of joy. And therefore, he wanted his people to feel miserable as well. So, he would forbid any kind of singing and dancing. But one of his ministers uh, tried to bring him back to his senses by saying, Your Majesty, you can steal people's instruments, you can forbid the orchestras to play on the streets or even the radios to be turned on, but you can't help have them singing loud or just inside the head. Each and every person will always be able to sing, even if it's only inside their heads. Wow, I thought, that's awesome. That's what I want to do. And as it usually happens, that's exactly what I haven't done for a long time. Coming from an environment where singing was all right, as long as it stayed as a second activity, a hobby maybe, it seemed quite natural at the time not to choose any music-related career. And that's how I got a college degree in history, followed by a master and a PhD in communication sciences. Do you think it's weird? So do I. And it gets weirder. Instead of studying something at least slightly related to music or sound narratives, I actually became an expert on visual narratives. The funny thing is, the more I wanted to escape from music and try to follow, let's say, a serious career, the more I bumped into people in situations that would bring music right back to me. So during college, I met this great fellows and we had a band together. And later, already a PhD holder, I would use any extra money coming from my academic activities in order to improve my musical skills. 2007, I met by chance two of my former college buddies And we decided to restart the band. 2008, I started writing music for the group. 2009, the group ends. I applied music festivals and got accepted to some of them. What makes me confident enough? To start producing my first solo CD. 
with my own compositions. The funny thing is that I compose, but I do not write notes. What made the whole process a little bit more complicated for I had to find someone I could trust enough to translate the music inside my head. And if you, dear listener, think it's easy, then it probably means you never produced a CD in your life. Do you want to know how the adventure goes on? Then we have a date next week, right here, in the next episode of How to be Indie in Brazil. But before I go, I will leave you with one of my first songs. The name is Jules de Gim, just like the movie from François Truffaut. I'm a big fan of French movies, but, well, this is another story, isn't it? Bye for now, and as we say in Brazil, beijo.
in Brazil. A weekly show by Geisa Fernandes.